Hi, I'm Joy Harris, a Florida home economist. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make grits casserole. It's a very simple recipe. You start with two cups of cooked grits. Now, the grits are your choice, the type that you want to make. You can either use instant grits, which cook up in minutes, or you can use stone ground grits. These could take up to two hours to cook, so it depends on what your favorite is. There's also yellow grits, white grits, but you just need two cups of cooked grits and make sure when you cook them that you cook out all the water. Now, if you made a big pot of grits for breakfast, you can reserve two cups for this recipe. Stir in some extra sharp cheddar cheese, about eight ounces. It could be leftover cheese, some leftover ham, about a cup of chopped ham. This really is kind of a leftover casserole, and it makes a great breakfast dish, a one meal dish, because I'm also adding two eggs that have been slightly beaten. This helps hold the casserole together. And for a little added flavor, two tablespoons of butter, a little more moisture might be necessary. So about a quarter to a half a cup of milk, whole milk's the best milk to use. And you can see here that it's becoming very creamy. I'll show that to you. It's looking very creamy and very nice. Those are the main ingredients. Um, the last things you want to add are salt and pepper, and that would be to taste. So I like to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. And the same thing with the salt. I just like to put a little bit of salt and pepper in there uh, because people can put their own salt and pepper on it when it's served. Once these things are very well mixed together, just pour it in a casserole. And then you bake this in a hot oven, about 350 degrees, and you'll bake it for about 45 minutes. When it's done and you're ready to serve up your grits casserole, you can serve it in individual portions like I've done here and top it off with some cheddar cheese. I'm Joy Harris, and that's how you make grits casserole.